Health Pioneers presents, Does My Baby Have Eczema? If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more relevant health topics, oh. Eczema can show up as red, crusty patches on your baby's skin, often during their first few months. It's common and very treatable. Many infants outgrow it. Not sure if your baby's itchy, irritated rash is eczema. Your doctor can tell you for sure. These questions and answers can help you understand what to look for. What does baby eczema look like? It shows up as patches of red or dry skin. The skin is almost always itchy and rough, too. Babies can get the condition just about anywhere on their body. Most often, it affects the cheeks and the joints of their arms and legs. It's easy to confuse baby eczema, also called infant eczema or atopic dermatitis, with cradle cap. But there are some key differences. Cradle cap is much less red and scaly. It generally clears up by eight months and usually appears on the scalp, sides of the nose, eyelids and eyebrows, and behind the ears. Causes. It can run in families. If a parent has eczema, a baby is a lot more likely to get it, too. Problems in the skin barrier, allowing moisture out and germs in, could also be a cause. Eczema happens when the body makes too few fatty cells called ceramides. If you don't have enough of them, your skin will lose water and become very dry. Does baby eczema go away by itself? It often does. Most children outgrow it before they start school. It's not common, but some kids will have eczema into adulthood. They may have times even years without the symptoms. But they may still tend to have dry skin. What can make it worse? Each baby is different. But there are some common eczema triggers to avoid, including Dry skin. It can make a baby more itchy. Low humidity, especially during winter when homes are well heated and the air is dry, is a cause. Irritants. Think scratchy wool clothes, polyester, perfumes, body soaps, and laundry soaps. These can all trigger symptoms. Stress. Children with eczema may react to stress by flushing. That can lead to itchy, irritated skin. And that, in turn, ramps up their eczema symptoms. Heat and sweat. Both can make the itch of infant eczema worse. Allergens. It's not certain, but some experts believe that removing cow's milk, peanuts, eggs, or certain fruits from a child's food may help control eczema symptoms. Remember that your baby can get exposed to these foods if her mother eats them before she breastfeeds. Home treatment. Moisturizers. One with ceramides is the best option. These are available over the counter and by prescription. Otherwise, a good moisturizer, fragrance-free cream, or ointment such as petroleum jelly, when used several times daily, will help your baby's skin retain its natural moisture. Apply immediately after a bath. A lukewarm bath. This hydrates and cools the skin. It may also ease itching. Make sure the water isn't too hot. Keep the bath short, no more than 10 minutes. To soothe itchiness even more, you could try adding oatmeal soaking products to your baby's tub. Use mild, unscented body and laundry soaps. Perfumed, deodorant, and antibacterial soaps can be rough on a baby's sensitive skin. Clean carefully. Use soap only where your baby may be dirty, such as the genitals, hands, and feet. Simply rinse off the rest of your child's body. Dry off. Pat skin dry. Don't rub. Dress for comfy days. To avoid the irritation of clothing rubbing on the skin, your child should wear loose clothes made of cotton. Always wash new clothes before you put them on your baby. Use a mild, fragrance-free detergent. To keep your little one comfy, don't overdress her or use too many blankets. If she gets hot and sweaty, that can trigger an eczema flare. What to do about itching? Try to keep your baby from scratching her itchy skin. Scratching can make the rash worse, lead to an infection, and cause the irritated skin to get thicker and more leathery. Trim her nails often, and then take the edge off of them with a file if you can. Some parents also slip, scratch mittens, onto their little one's hands. Others try long socks, tucked in under a long-sleeved shirt, so they're harder for a baby to remove. Medicines. Some over-the-counter products, such as hydrocortisone creams and ointments, target itching and inflammation. Check the instructions and don't use them too long, or they can thin the skin in the affected area. There are also medicines that need a doctor's prescription, if other treatments don't work. When to call a doctor. Make the call if your baby's eczema doesn't begin to get better within a week of starting over-the-counter hydrocortisone creams. It may be time for a prescription medicine. 
Also check with your doctor if yellow or light brown crust or pus-filled blisters appear on top of the eczema. This could be the sign of a bacterial infection that needs antibiotics. You should call your doctor if your baby is around anyone who has cold sores or genital herpes. Eczema can make your little one more likely to pick up those germs. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video.